What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. You may not be able to see these creatures, but you can still hear them. I'm not sure I like how this girl is always charging ahead. Fear not, she has already proved a valuable asset to us. I've been thinking about what Farah said earlier. She has a point. How do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough.
Such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. you could move a little faster? You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment.
did it. We did it. Wait! There are people hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. And so the Prince and Pharaoh separated. She sought to save lives, he to end them. For the Prince intended to confront his enemy, and perhaps utilize the powerful warriors who had holed up inside the temple. His mind churned with thoughts of glorious vengeance. But something new as well. Descending into the depths, his thoughts kept returning to Pharaoh. He wondered if she was thinking of him as well. Is this where I should go? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. a city is one thing, but to do so with such a violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer. last line of defense, fallen. These men served my family well. 
With their defeat, the city is fully in the hands of the Vizier. I reach him, he slips away. Why will he not just stay and fight? It would make things so much simpler. It is not always about combat, Prince. Some battles are waged in other ways, on other terms. I fear we have underestimated our opponent. Let us not make the same mistake a second time.
Babylon had finally fallen, and none were left to come to the prince's aid. He was now the city's only hope. If he failed, his entire war would be lost. For the vizier was not content to simply be a king. No. He fancied himself a god. The question now was whether the prince realized the position he was in. And if he did, would he accept this responsibility? Would he become a hero?